Extra. Affinity Extra. Be Extra. Back to the gym and torn up Man a man chain bang grow up My Jesus died and he rose up <laughs> Rude boy hold up You're not back to the gym and torn up Man a man chain bang grow up Jesus died and he rose up Archangel spiritual warfare I'm a script shut down all this software No mask at breathing in no air See Lucifer he don't play fair Caught slipping and firing Mayfair Like Elijah I'm sending rain They're tailored in love Joy, peace, hope And still catch me in a Montclair Black man Roll with the black shades on So bless Christ side that I'm on He got pairs in the child the chest, hand and feet, my bro got mocked in the street, left in a tomb for about three days, and he conquered the grave to defeat the devil, I'm a child, I bro can't defeat the rebel, short time go in heaven, I don't need your medal, Aye. rude boy hold up, you're not back to the gym and torn up, man a man chain bang grow up, my Jesus died and he rose up, <laughs> rude boy hold up, you're not back to the gym and torn up, man a man chain bang grown up, Jesus died and he rose, he's the lion of the tribe of Judah, one of the greats, heavy like Let's Luger, yeah. John 14, 13, Holy Ghost City will transform you, Luke 11, 13 Don't play or let the enemy abuse you Romans 15, 13 No role but he will transform you, form you So where are you going? He died on the cross, you see the blood flowing So where are you going? He died on the cross, you see the blood flowing Hell and the lake of fire Better wake up cause the devil is a liar I said come this way Don't go, come this way I said love is the way to the kingdom Being righteous will get you raptured Holiness will get you to the kingdom No Yeshua, no kingdom God bless you but no kingdom Man I better get right Right with Jesus, cause you're running out of time, believe this, torment like the spirit of Judas, it's like nah, you don't wanna see the rebel out on the level of the most high, will better you, flee from sin and deceptive ways, your ways can give a stand in the vein, the clap for the NHS, the Lord will stop the mess, some dust created flesh, spoke life gave Adam breath, rude boy hold up, you're not back to the gym and torn up, man a man chain bang grow up, my Jesus died and he rose up, rude boy hold up, you're not back to the gym and torn up, man a man chain bang grow up, up. Jesus died and he rose. I, I, I used to play not Dan Ginger. I used to sell drugs. I used to do fraud, but you'll never catch me on Tinder. The day I got saved, got angels on guard and they fight for the kid like a ninja. In Jesus' name, demons know their place. I'm a warrior like Master Splinter. I'm a fisher of men like Peter. Jesus' authority, power. Boogie boogie down. Jesus' authority, power. Boogie boogie down, down. Aye. Rude boy, hold up, you're not back to the gym and torn up. Man, a man chain bang, grow up. My Jesus died and he rose up. <laughs> Rude boy, hold up, you're not back to the gym and torn up. Man, a man chain bang, grow up. Jesus died and he rose. You, the engineer. Okay, guys, you're locked in with DJ Marks. And that track that we just had was um, Jesus Ridden by Rebla, my guest on the show today. Rebla, how you doing, bro? I'm very well, thank you very much. Blessed and highly favoured, as always. That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. I'm glad we managed to get this in today, man. Love. So we're going to just get started, and I want to get the uh, listeners and those viewing in on YouTube as well to kind of just get to know a little bit about you. So what part um, of the UK are you actually from right now? So I live in London, um, South East. So all my life I've, I've lived in, do you get what I mean, from Kenna um, to, you know, more or less, I'm living in Thamesmead now, do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I, but I've always, I've been around all South East London, majority of my life. Okay, okay. And how long have you been doing the music thing for, bro? Yes, bro. I think I've been doing music from before, the two went zero zero zero. So before the millennial, to get what I mean, I've been doing. <laughs> I've been doing music from when I was in secondary school. Oh wow! Um, okay. So I can't actually remember the exact year I left secondary school off the top of my head, but I got it in my notes. <laughs> but you've been um, on the grind for a while, then, it stands like man. I've been on the grind for like probably close to two decades. But wow. I, I come from the I come from the scene from a stance of um, when there was nothing in it. Do you get what I mean? It was just a passion. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. was the love. Um, do you get what I mean? The, yeah, the spitting, yeah. the whole the whole shebang, you know, where you, you would risk your life to do music. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know that one. The real passion, the one that drives the real you regardless. Passion. Yeah. 100%. I heard I heard one artist spit a bar one time and he was saying that 
Um, he started from the days where all he got paid was literally like um, chicken and chips and, and a canned drink to come yeah. and do his performance. Like, just pure Bro. passion. That doesn't matter what you get. You just want to get on that Bro. stage, grab that mic. Exactly. That that come from that era. Like it, yeah, yeah. it was weird because it was like it's it's you know for those who really know me me, I was like one of the first um, artists in the UK to incorporate African sounds in music. To get what I mean. Okay. Okay. So like I was like the, more or less those who know like I was like the pioneer of it. Yeah. So yeah. I was doing it. No one was doing it. Do you get what I mean? So that's how I had the name and a buzz before yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Before the whole lot kicked off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, you know, it's good because you've kind of, well, from the, the tracks I've heard, you've still kind of maintained that kind of thing with you anyway. So even though you're doing like the hip-hop grime thing, I could definitely yeah. hear like the 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 kind of Afro influence in there, especially that last time yeah. that just came off um, Jesus with him. There were certain yeah. elements in there where I thought, yeah, 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 yeah. he's kept it real, he's kept it that, that, that roots right in there. Yeah, I try to keep the roots, my heritage and my music. Yeah. Um, no matter, you know, the direction of life yeah. I'm heading in, you know. So in in terms of this past year and a bit, we know that, you know, we've had the whole COVID thing. How have you found that as an artist? Um, has it impacted you in terms of like um, your you know, the music you're producing, the, the stuff that you would usually do as an artist? Um, it has impacted, but not... It, I think for me, like, this has been personally my best yeah i think okay. musically of my life so far um just in regards to the impact and the level of quality of music yeah. the amount of visuals that i'm dropping i'm dropping another video which should be coming out i think this week as well so oh, cool. um and then i should have one the following month coming up uh, mm. quite a few collaborations so i think for me as a gospel artist now it's been the most fruitful time of my life um, musically. Um, fruitful from a stance of delivery of what I'm bringing to the table. Yeah, yeah. Um, getting not the necessarily. Out there like, and stuff. Yeah, 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 getting the content out there, not what I've been paid or to get yeah. what I mean, but it's just the fact that I'm still active in the midst yeah. of a pandemic um, and my kind of setup's really good. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I've got studio, do you get what I mean? Yeah, and everything's yeah. well organized. I've got a good team that kind of support the delivery of what I'm bringing out to the public. Yeah. And you know what, in terms of your delivery that you're bringing out to the public and all that kind of stuff, what does it look like when Rebler is putting songs together? I mean, like, do you sit down and kind of say, you know, I'm going to spend an hour now to do my tunes? Or is it one of those things where, um, you know, you're walking down the street and a bar will come to you or you're, you're, you know, you're going along somewhere and the bar will just come and you just like start doing something? Do you know what? I think... Um... I think I'm at that stage now where I'm experienced. I'm an experienced artist. So, mm -hmm. like, in my normal day, I don't, like, back in the day, like, I had a counter bar for everything. So, like, yeah, I was yeah, more yeah, like yeah. battle rap clash MC kind of thing. Do you get what I mean? I've very well, you know, working with a lot of established UK artists. Like, I'm talking about, like, the pioneers in this music thing that, mm. you know, they're on a lot of people's top 10, you know, of all, of all UK times list, yeah. you get what I mean? Like I've worked or been around some of these, you know, household names. And I think back then, like everyone was on their toes. Do you get what I mean? There was mm -hmm. just a passion. That's all we knew. That's all we wanted to do. Yeah. Um, whereas I think now I've kind of understood, due to experience, I understand. So I kind of, I just prepare before I go to studios. I'm not wasting time. Do you get what I mean? Not that my studio's majorly expensive, but it's just that, I'm more intentional when I go to the yeah, studio. Yeah. Sometimes I just want to be in the midst of that music environment. Mm. I might stay yeah, for yeah, a while yeah. or early hours of the morning, but usually it's just by the time I attend there, I know what I'm doing. The session has yeah, been built yeah. in within an hour and a half. What I've agreed to do should be done. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm more intentional. Okay. Okay. You know, what? I've been one of your followers for a while, just kind of like seeing like, what you've been doing with your music and stuff like that. And one of the things that I really liked about you is that um, you're one of the, the, for me, one of the few artists I, I can say in terms of, not just in terms of how they seem to represent themselves, but also in terms of lyrical content, that you're just, you know, you, there's no compromise there. You're very clear about what you represent, who you represent, 
um yeah and you know in terms of getting that message out there even some of the, the tracks that you did with um Ciru's because I know you guys went through a period where yeah, you know, was kind of like working together on a lot of, of tracks and stuff like that but there was a yeah. realness in there where it's like these guys are generally like hungry you know for yeah. God and, and stuff like that so how important is your your faith in terms of the music production and how big a part does it play in terms of the content you write is it more you know is it one of those things where the scripture comes in um, and a lot of your song you try to base on that or is it a lot of it more based on you know real life situations circumstance that kind of thing I think everything that we do is spirit led so like if, even in regards to like I think there was a season so like me and Soros we agreed to do a mixtape together mm-hmm. do you get what I mean so that's yeah, what yeah, we yeah. did so it's like I think you know sometimes when you do something collaboratively with somebody, yeah, some yeah, people yeah. think we're together. Yeah, we're together mm-hmm. as bro- brothers in Christ forever. But yeah, yeah. it's like I think for what I've been doing now, do you get what I mean? And what Soros is doing now, mm-hmm. we're identifying ourselves as artists, but we're still obviously we're still brothers. And yeah, the scene's yeah. now grown. I think you know with us, I feel like the Lord just kind of put us a bit more earlier on on the forefront because obviously you know the Wayne Triumph who's an experienced yeah, gospel yeah. artist as well. So he's actually part of what we were doing as well. So mm-hmm. it was like um, the Wayne Triumph, it was um, Romaine, Leslie Sky, mm-hmm. and um, King Jim's. I think. Do you get what I mean? Like mm-hmm. we were just all not. <laughs> I wouldn't say that the crew thing really came to flu- fru- fruition, but yeah, yeah. do you get what I mean? We kind of all look at the gospel from a similar stance do you get what i yeah. mean um jesus died mm. rose again and why we do this is primarily for the oh. lord and savior jesus christ so from that stance everything um yeah was going well and i think what we're doing now for me like i'm just trying to make sure that that message is clear in what i do i see yeah, more yeah. of a blessing in that for me do you understand because i think coming from um i think coming from the secular from a secular place um people like authenticity do you get what i mean um and whether you understand it or not it's like this guy you can hear what he's talking about he believes what he's talking about yeah, yeah. do you get what i mean whereas if if you're to say to me oh you're going to do a rap and it's going to be about scripture you just automatically think it's corny mm. but for me <laughs> i i show you that i can do it in a way that it's not corny do you get what yeah, i mean yeah yeah oh so, yeah you know what? Let's get on to your uh, most recent project, the Joy and the Pain project. Um, one first thing I want to ask you is, where do you pull it under? Because because it's, it's seven tracks on there, isn't it? Mm. So I know it, it's kind of like right on the border as to where it could be an EP or an album. So how do you yeah. classify it? It's a mini. It's an album. Yeah, it, the, yeah. the reason the reason why I would call it an album is because it's all everything's authentic from it. So like mm-hmm. the production, everything's all done specifically for Joy and yeah. the Pain. But um, it was like more or less like a body of work, kind of like it was initially started off as singles. But yeah. I realized that the way the markets change now, like, you know, you can't just do like a Nas album, like a Stillmatic or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not going to listen to 12 track of anybody's song. I'm just going to be honest. Do you get what I mean? There's time. Like, do you get what I mean? I couldn't even make. I'm sure my daughter, you must have heard her in this interview. Like, I, yeah, I yeah. couldn't even make this on time, let alone be sitting, listening, the way the world's moving yeah, so yeah. fast now. It's more or less a singles market. So I kind of noticed that, you know what? Mm. It, it's almost like I worked so hard. So I actually got so much songs that I thought, you know what? Let me just package together seven. Mm. But already the Lord kind of given me the title for Joy in the Pain. So yeah, it dropped yeah. at a perfect season, you know, like Joy in a time of a pandemic. Mm. It's, do you get what I mean? So yeah. it's a mini album, you know, to answer your question. Um, and yeah, I think it just about touches the surface of that album rather than the EP because yeah, yeah. it's yeah, yeah. five tracks. Yeah. So, yeah. You yeah. know, it, it's funny you're saying that because, um, you know, again, like I said, the, the whole environment in terms of how music's listened to now has changed you, with the introduction of things like Spotify and iTunes and stuff like that. Um, I think people are more inclined to listen to albums back then because CDs was what you had you know some people you yeah. might just be able to afford to go and buy one album so you've got to bounce all them albums right. and now you've got a choice you can kind of do what you want you exactly. know, and listen to what, which tune you the want you're mixing it up now yeah, you get what I mean go. I yeah. like a Jesus yeah. with them I'm not sure about that song I like this yeah. one from yeah. this artist I like that do you get what I mean yeah. And... yeah well you know what we're going to get one of your tracks now um, it's actually one of the tracks on the album but um, is it am I right in saying that it's a project that you guys collaborate together I'm talking about Ring the Alarm um, is it a project you guys collab together that will also feature on some of the other guys' um, releases as well? 
yeah so like basically it was initially ring the alarm was my song mm -hmm. um i initially planned to get just i think i wanted just a lighter on it um and then that's and when the you, got, you, got, you got 11 man in the end there was 11 of you I can't yeah and i got 12 it's actually a 12, 12. man song. okay yeah. okay so I miss like, someone who did i miss all this happens yeah so um because one of them just didn't attend the video Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that was a, that was another artist, but um yeah, like Ring the Alarm, I initially planned it. Um and then ST Saint, he agreed. Do you get what yeah. I mean? Like let's yeah. you know, he wanted to support on the vision of that and I think together, do you get what I mean? Um mm -hmm. Well, I I just got in contact with all the artists yeah. to jump on it. And yeah. you know, so many artists said no. You know, you wouldn't believe it. Well, oh, you know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I am surprised you say so many artists said no, considering how many you still managed to, to get on there. And, yeah. and guys, just, just to kind of give you an indication, and you probably would have to fill in um, the other person. So we've got Rebler, obviously. You've got ST Saint. Um, I'm not yeah. sure. How did, does he, how does he say his name? 678 Nave? Yeah, 678 Yeah, so you've got yeah, Marco, six, seven, eight, eight. Sky, Mark yeah. Asari, Zelida, yeah. Canola, um, GTA, yeah. Um, yeah, GTA, Nizzy Nave. GT and Vonte Grace are the same person. So I don't okay, know why he does okay. that. He's a producer okay. and he's an artist. So yeah, I don't know yeah. why, but he produced the song. So big up yeah, yeah. Vonte Grace, but that's also GT. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, that's the most confusing thing in this world. I don't know why. <laughs> you know what I mean, but, um, Dizzy but Dave, like, um, J.O. Polion. So that's the 11 men I counted. Who was I missing out of that? Raptis. Okay, and so if I'm right in saying them, because I, I did clock that earlier where the YouTube video was shorter than the Spotify. Is that because he's on the Spotify version and not? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So like the All thing right. is, because he wasn't on the video. Yeah. Like, I, it just didn't sit in my spirit to take him off because I thought yeah, his verse yeah, was yeah. so powerful. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And he was a major support to, to, to the way the song came about. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So... I, I, it just didn't sit right in my spirit, so we 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 kind of yeah, had a yeah. bit of a disagreement. I was like, "I'm gonna fight you, bro. I'm not taking you <laughs> off. It's what it is. Come and find me, yeah. you know." Because his verse was strong as well. Yeah. When you really think about it, he's got actually one of the strongest verses on that song. Mm. He would have been crazy for the video. Yeah. The enemy's plans are silly, so I killed his flesh and my kidney. Like, Ooh. yeah, yeah, it's like militant, isn't it? A proper militant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he destroyed it. He destroyed it. Well, guys, here we go. Here's Ring the Alarm taken from his um, Pain, sorry, Join, Join the Pain album. Let's get it. Here we go. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. ST. Rebla. Ring the alarm. Ring the alarm. Ring the alarm. Ring the alarm. Jonah, Matthew 24, don't drink the corona. Leave the words ringing in your eardrums. Ring, ring, Motorola. Anointed like Joshua, hand of God's on my life, Maradona. Covered in the blood of the Lamb, no Donna. No Jesus in your life, you're a goner. Full stop, karma. God's right hand, lick it down, run, spama. To rap about M16s, now it's all about John 316. Dry MCs, yeah, they need Vaseline. Holy Spirit team, don't do Halloween. Blood of Jesus, be my only vaccine. Government like too much gasoline. World's gone crazy, I need a taxi. I ring the alarm, cause the Savior's coming. You'll think that Omar's coming, the way they all scrambled and started dusting. Second coming is war, is war. He won't be coming for no discussion. I told bro, Stop running, I come here, choose now Why you still got the option? Why don't man want God to solve their problem? No sword come on, a man been chosen To speak life for life and never been spoken To give sight to where the man and feel hopeless My G died before fact he toasted He fly back as a soldier To spit fire, that can't be part when you're soaking So think twice before you wanna be a joker It's yeah. three times come when you come back to your boat When I rise and torch for the sake of the Lord It's a holy trust when I swing that sword When I open the word to the scriptures Pour, see the enemy burn from my vocal cords Ring the alarm, not a play play ting It's a win-win sit when I lean on him You don't wanna see the rage when I'm on this Thing, man, it's M-A-R when I teach us change. How you gonna chat with your soul not level? Bars them a hot like they boil in a kettle. God, man, I bless you, the ops, them a devil. Back my dance, that's us, that's rebel. Ifs and TJ Cream and special. GB right hand, they're so circle. This word beats don't jam like necko. Listen, listen, listen. Can't bar 
dog in heaven, bruv, get it correct. What's your rats gonna do on the day of the end car? You can put 10 down, something like them, but you ain't getting in if you wait then. I'm piping hot, uh, bun out a demon. Ain't getting back, no way, that's treason. To my old life, dead to that old guy. The Lord coming with a sword like, oh my. Bow my knee to the beast, how could I? Lord, I pray I don't do you like Peter. Praise up for the season's peak car. They're getting persecuted on the regular. Regular, regular, regular. Bring me along, bring me along, bring me along, bring me along. Equivalent, watch that dirty money. They know this pattern is dangerous. Speaking their tongues, they're running from me. Break this bread, they ain't talking about money. In the man charge me, finna that broly, freely fast. Dry. Now see the zombies, put the finesse these demons. No belly or night, they know it's me. Got the word on show, can't move the street. If I raise it up, that's rest in peace. Enemy got the same agenda again and again. I can't rate those sneaks. Sunday gun, can't wait the Sunday United goes. The flesh is I gotta be on fire for the Lord like Bunsen without holding a burner, even if I'm feeling blue. I gotta perform on the pitch, K can't be like Timo Werner. Life can kick and beat man down, I'll stay singing like Tina Turner. For the Lord and his righteous kingdom, you know, say man, a Christian gotta have faith from my flesh, forefather Abraham. I don't know about Lincoln, but the alarm bells are ringing. My sword has got to stay swinging. Our ones are dealing hope. We don't know about squares, just got school chillings. That's praying in tongues with a the gang, them reading the word with all of them and them. Get round there with a double edged sword up, lift man's soul right where man's standing. For the wage of sin is death, some man not doing investment banking. They don't know that I turn all life and Jesus Christ go hand in hand in hand in hand in. Gotta ring the alarm like sirens. And I'm on flames, no hydrant. Have faith for my God like Moses. And I walk in my stick, no trident. The man them really know about sliding, gliding. But never see me back sliding. Waves wanna try, crash my flow. But my God part sees, I ain't talking Poseidon. I believe in it. See the word of the Lord, I be preaching it. Double it, swords, I bleed from it. Washed in his blood, so I'm clean with it. Said, said you're on demon time and preach that gospel, demons flying. Said you wanna worship like the ancestors. Don't you know idols are lifeless in Jesus? Christ is where eternal life is. Bring your work, bring your deeds. It won't be enough to buy it. Through faith alone in Christ alone is the only way to salvation. The way he made it, died and rose again. Take that to the nations. I Sins been versus Adam and Eve, but Satan's putting the trick and the sieve. Making it seem like everything cool, distracting souls from salvation peak. Time for chilling is dead, it's cancelled before I hear that. Still crash, no bangles. Signifying that God is back, I might preach my hardest. Holding the mantle, killing each other. Satan wants, hating each other. Satan wants, insecurities, demonic bondage, all that nonsense. Satan wants, there's so many things he has put in this world to make us lose sight of the bigger picture. Picture, 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 picture. picture, picture. Bring me along, bring me along, bring me along, ooh, ooh. bring me along, bring me along, bring me along, bring me along, ooh. don't ignore him, the Lord is calling, the rain is falling, the rain is falling, it's falling, bring me along, bring me along, bring me along, Okay, guys, so we're back here and I've got Webler um, here with me today for the interview. So, but in terms of, um, obviously, again, just kind of going back to that whole COVID situation, what would you say you missed the most um, over the past year and a half? Well, uh, COVID has been, for me, it's been a blessing. Mm. Uh, the only, I think the only thing I don't like is I'm a, a, I'm a man who likes to, I like to enjoy it. Like, I like to go to Hernando's. I like to go for food. <laughs> and yeah, all this yeah, chip, yeah. all this in stuff mm. it's a bit uh, uh, it frustrates me it's the kind of it kind of makes me think you know I can't be bothered do you get yeah, what it's I mean kind of like, long, isn't it? you just want to roll up yeah. and eat when you want to eat isn't it? yeah I just want to roll <laughs> up and eat I don't want to be yeah, yeah. putting in this email and checking in do you get what I mean and you yeah, have to yeah. come back in an hour it's just it's just a bit it's killing the money <laughs> it's, do you yeah, get what yeah. I mean it's, yeah, yeah it's killing the, the fun you know of everything as well so you're putting out some really good music now. We've heard like two of your tracks today, um, Jesus Rhythm as well as um, Joy in the Pain. Oh, sorry, not Joy in the Pain. Um, Ring the Alarm. Ring the Alarm. My head's just gone now. Um, <laughs> in terms of advice you'd give to other young artists coming up that's, you know, they're looking at what you're doing. They say, you know what, I'm feeling this. I want to be able to kind of like get into that kind of vibe. What kind of advice would you give to them? 
if you want to do um, gospel music, make sure, for me, just keep it Christ-centered and then he'll give you the wisdom on how to execute and deliver well. Um, so the best advice I would say from the practical side of things is once you've got Christ is, and this is for gospel artists I'm talking about, um, you know, make sure that your quality control is in place. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you're branding yourself as a professional. Um, make sure that the way you conduct yourself, like the Bible says, by your fruit, you shall know them. So there's a way you conduct yourself in your character as a, as a gospel artist that you need to also maintain at all times. Yeah. Um, and I'll also say keep a good team around you of individuals who can assess your music properly. Mm-hmm. So like quality assure it to ensure that what you're putting out to the public is actually good. So, you know, I, I would do that first of all, get get a good, you know, I think artists us, you know, they see what other artists do and they get excited and they just they just want to yeah, drop yeah. music out. But I think it's about artist development. I think mm-hmm. make sure that you're working with a solidified team. Cause even me at the level that I'm at with the experience I've I've had, there's times that, you know, I've sent songs to certain people like, nah, bro, that's rubbish. Don't drop yeah, that. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah. the public will never get that. They'll just get mm-hmm. the Jesus rhythm, which is polished or do, mm-hmm. do you get what I mean? Or they'll just yeah, get yeah, that yeah. that moment of time when you're in the studio where it's not every time, you know, like when you look at people who have got number ones or whatever, it's not every day you get a number one. Do you get yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So no, real talk, real talk. It's, it's, it's hard to deliver excellent quality music, um, especially, you know, it, when you've got the Lord behind it, it should be fine. Yeah and, yeah, and and the practical wisdom. Yeah, and guys, that's for me. That's sound advice. Everything that he said, there, I would, I would second that. You know, definitely pay. You know, take that on and make sure you're applying that to what you're doing with your music. So um, you've you've told us a little bit already in terms of you know what we can expect this year. You said you know you had some other videos coming out really real soon. Um, other than that, is there anything else we could look forward to for twenty twenty one? Yeah, um, a surprise. A storm is coming in September. Remember, okay, Rebel, I told okay. you that. So, right, yeah. Right. We'll, we'll be looking out for that check, one. Then. Yeah, check on the clocks from mm-hmm. September time. Yeah, a storm. <laughs> <laughs> a storm. It's, it's going to come from like, they don't even know where it's coming from. Where it's like, coming from. They're going to start yeah. hitting the earth. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> bang, and, bang, bang. Boom, 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 boom. I'm looking forward to that, man. You're going to see what's coming. Because all the stuff you've been dropping is in bangers anyway. So you Uh, sound like you're about to drop something next year. So I'm I'm looking out for that, man. The bangers, bro. (laughs) Boom, (laughs) boom, boom. So where can people reach you, bro? Where can people reach you? Um, You can reach me on Instagram at Reblagram, um, R-E-B-L-A-H. You can reach me on Twitter, Rebla underscore artist, R-E-B-L-A-H underscore artist artist um and yeah you can also yeah i think those are the best places you can reach me i think if you check on my um insta you can get through to to my team and email and whatever and unless you're like dj marks who knows me personally (laughs) you can just drop me a straight dm but other than that you know you know where to reach me and by god's grace i'm remaining as humble as i can you know always just trying to be as humble as i can um, through this whole journey because yeah, music yeah. sometimes can get to some people's heads no, you know it's, real. it's true it's true well guys you've heard it from him definitely go and follow him on his social media platforms instagram and twitter being the ones where he's saying to reach him the easiest um Rebel, it's been a pleasure having you here today bro lovely oh, bless having you. it it's an honor it's an honor man let's do this again sometime you know yeah most definitely most definitely um, guys, definitely go and support the um, new album as well. Joy in the Pain is out now on all platforms. Stream, download it, show him some love um, and make sure that you share it around as well. Visit us for updates and shows at affinityextra.co.uk.